y'all it's your girl yay and i'm back with another youtube video i know it's been a minute but y'all know school in session and the girl's a nursing student yeah y'all <laughs> ah it's like no for real i am a nursing student and life be getting you know crazy as y'all can see by the title today we're going to be doing the tiktok food hacks so yeah without further ado we're just going to hop right into the video period and make sure y'all subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, and give this video a big thumbs up. I'm gonna insert the clip of what's what you gotta do. Basically, it's a cup of peanut butter, a half a cup of sugar, and an egg. You mix it all up and you put it in the oven. It's three ingredient cookies. I put all the ingredients in a bowl, as y'all can see kind of see okay and i'm just gonna mix it all up oh this is gonna be a little hard hold up they didn't tell me it was gonna be hard mixing it up it's feeling about it <laughs> it's just like it's feeling about it i just gotta let it go okay guys so i'm mixing it and then i set the oven to um 350 and you basically just leave it in for like i think like eight minutes but this better be good because if it's not, that's a waste of ingredients. Yo, I was never a chef. Let's be clear. This is what it's looking like. It's just looking like peanut butter. I'm gonna go ahead and put some Pam on a pan and just throw these in the oven. Um, the cookies are ready. So we're just gonna try a piece. They're not really, I mean, they're soft, but like, Like moist cookies that I like, like they're not nasty. It's just like peanut butter. They are. The edge is crispy. Say that. How are you? This cookie's like a seven. Not bad, but I just rather not. Like, right. but they are pretty good. This next TikTok food hack is very simple. So all you need is some Oreo cookies and some milk. So basically, I'm gonna take three Oreo cookies. So these is fresh, fresh from Target, baby. Oop, that's the, that's the oven. They just got them preheated. But yeah, um, three Oreo cookies. I'm putting them right in my cup right here. So yeah, basically just got to crush these Oreos up. Now, this is ghetto right here. Because who is doing this? Like, you have to crush it up. Crush it up, girl. Mm. This is what it looked like. So basically, I just have to put this in the microwave for 45 seconds. And then we're gonna try it. Let me show y'all what it look like. <sighs> so, and it's a little hot. I'm not trying to burn myself, but I mean, it don't look nasty. Okay. Yeah, it definitely just tastes like I tasted this before. Actually. <laughs> Oreo, but like a cake version. I'm gonna give this like a nine out of ten, just cause it just need like some whipped cream or something, some some sugar on top, some confectionery, some what is it called? Confectionery sugar, some powdered sugar. That, but it is good. I can't lie, it is good. So did I say nine point five out of ten? Cause yeah, that is that. Mm-hmm. It's good. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna do the bell pepper one. So for the bell pepper one, you just do bell pepper, 
cream cheese and everything bagel seasoning. And you just spread it on there like some butter. Like that. Yeah. Yo, I'm so nervous. Like, this might be disgusting. And people out here lying saying it's good. Now, why would you do that? And then we're going to get our everything bagel seasoning. Y'all, for the longest time, I could not find this seasoning. Like, I kept seeing the everything bagel crunch. And I was like, is that the same thing? But I finally found it. Mmm, this don't smell too appetizing. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. This everything bagel seasoning don't smell too everything. But this is what it looks like. I'm going to just go ahead and try it. I don't even eat bell peppers. All right, guys. Here we go. Yo, what? Mm-mm. Hold up. <laughs> I don't know what you <laughs> Hold up. Let me add a little bit of cream cheese. I do like cream cheese. I ain't gonna lie. Let me add a little bit more cream cheese because this tastes like a onion. Let me try it. One more bite. Because, you know, sometimes you have to taste it two times. Disgusting. What is y'all out here eating? Mm -mm. That is not good. So the bagel, cream cheese, and everything bagel seasoning, that's a no for me. I would never ever in my life eat that again. That's disgusting. Now I'm going to do... Whew! Y'all, this video getting a little crazy because that... I was really expecting that bell pepper and um, cream cheese to taste good. So now y'all already know what we got to do next. The famous jalapeno pepper cream cheese and Takis. Oh, I couldn't get it out. So let me rinse my jalapeno off. First off, I don't even like hot stuff. So I'm filling the inside up with the cream cheese. Boom. Alright, now I'm going to get the Takis. And at first I had bought this big old bag. I'm glad I changed to this little bag. I've seen this little bag. I don't like that. Alright guys, I'm so scared. I'm just put, I think you put like three in here. So I guess these taki just gonna go to waste because I don't eat these. I'm so scared. I do not like takis. I do not like jalapenos. Why am I trying this? Alright guys, I'm done complaining. Alright, ready? One, two, three. Not bad, but mm. it's like I get a whole whiff of flavors eating this. But I still taste that taki flavor. That like, what is it? Living that that pepper and lime. I don't like that. I'm gonna take one more bite though. Y'all know I gotta take the two bites. Ooh, this just made my stomach go boom. Like, it just was a bomb down there for real. This was hot. <sighs> Hold up. It is hot. <clears throat> I got a feeling in the back of my throat. Mm -mm. Hold up, y'all. I'm going to take one more bite, though. I feel like I like it. Like, it's nasty, but it's good. It's nasty but good at the same time. It might have been something with this. I think I just like it with the cream cheese and the jalapeno. I don't even need the taco. Okay, guys. So the rating I give the jalapeno, cream cheese, and takis, I give it a cool like eight and a half. It's good, like it is kind of good, but I don't know if I can make that of everything. Good. But it was good though, like it was nasty but good. So guys, this is the one I'm most excited for. The pickles. 
from the cotton candy. So I just got the half of pickles for real. Like you should still get the same taste. I didn't get the whole pickle like. So okay, it's actually two colors. Here. So okay, a little bit of the blue. I don't know if y'all can see. trying to do but struggling very hard because the cotton candy is just melting so i'm gonna just try it hold up let's do it <clears throat> hold up i don't know i like this but this is really good like this is like perfect like sweet and tangy because the pickle is kind of tangy but the cotton candy it's sweet like but actually it's also low-key nasty I cannot lie but it's good but it's nasty at the same time like the, the pickle is just a little bit too tangy. On a scale of one to ten, I would give that like like a six. Like it was good, but it wasn't all that. Thank you guys for tuning in to my TikTok food hacks. You know, viral TikTok food hacks. Um, I want you guys to make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I want you to comment down below. Um, I want you guys just to comment down below a purple heart because I'm back. And when I say I'm back, y'all, videos after videos after videos. And yeah, make sure you give this a big thumbs up. Comment down below. And subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And yeah, the girl was on. <laughs> and the girl, yay, is out. Period.